are here in a rainy Barcelona in the F1 Academy paddock. My name is Ruth Buscom, and I'm joined here today by Gabriela, Camilla and Charlotte, which are all fellow engineers. And we're here to talk about being a woman in engineering to celebrate International Women in Engineering Day. So, what made you guys get into engineering in the first place? I started when I was young. To, because my family is involved in motorsport. And when I saw the engineer on the pit wall, I say, okay, one day I want to come uh, like them. At the end, uh, I am arrived to my goal. And so it's perfect. How, how have you seen the, uh, the, the industry change since you've started working in it? I think I'm quite sort of unique in that I started in F1. I was always the first woman in every team that I worked in. I was the first woman yeah. there. But I think things like this and um, and all the projects that are ongoing with women in motorsport are really like driving that change and showing that there's roles at every level and, and across duties and single seaters and everything. So yeah. I think it's really helping. And do you feel like we've got to a point now where like you, you feel accepted within motorsports and within the industry? Let's say that in acceptance points, we have been proving everyone that we are capable enough to do it. And then I think we have been supporting each other like quite a lot, even outside from our roles. The drivers put the visors and we are racing each other, but then behind the scenes, we're always like cheering up for everyone. At the moment, we are, we are five teams and we are keeping like everyone together because we want yeah. to make the series grow. What else? I want to know, what else girls are you doing when you're not, when you're not here? I'm a mom. Full time job. <laughs> Largest job in the world. She's been in the pit lane. In the pit lane. Yes. Um, I think that was one of the biggest challenges that I had even last season. Uh, my baby born two weeks before Barcelona race last year. So I was already doing track well 15 days after having my kid. And then that was a completely challenge during the whole season because for sure I still wanted to stay with him, breastfeeding, and at the same time doing team manager, race engineer for one car. Being pregnant and pushing a car is one of the like the most amazing things yeah. I've ever seen that's somebody do. Barcelona test. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If the waters break, at least you do have the wet tires. Yes, yeah. so that's <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> that's a good thing. If we were that here, you are now out there from this season onwards, especially being broadcast to the world. So, like, how do you feel about being a role model? But it's an honor to be here in this uh, big stage. It's uh, it's something very amazing. Uh, you. Good to her. And you should be very proud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, she had a lot of followers on Instagram, so she's yeah. inspiring a lot of people. I think it's it's amazing that the fact that someone turns on their screen to watch us on a television, it's quite kind of huge. And we think about it like we're just working. Yeah. And it's important that everyone knows that if you fight for your dreams, you will not be there. I mean, I can be on that screen in any moment. I definitely agree. And thank you to that, to F1 Academy, to enable us to be able to put you guys on the screen as you deserve so everyone gets to see. Thank you so much and happy International Women in Engineering Day. Thank you.